You like it? Hey, it's Scotty, Scotty's Animals. What's the best way to spend five minutes caring for your guinea pigs? I'm a volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, and I'm just here cleaning cages and taking care of my pigs. But suppose you only have five minutes. What is the best way that you can spend those five minutes to really care for your piggies and improve their life? So we're gonna talk about that. Five of the best things that you can do in five minutes. Come on. If you only have five minutes, how can you give your guinea pigs the best care? Well, here's five things in five minutes. First, fill their hay. Make sure that their hay rack or the snack shack is full. I love the snack shack because you can stuff it full of hay, it keeps it neat and organized, and in my experience, it actually prevents hay pokes in the eye as opposed to if you just toss a big pile down. And it's a lot easier to get as much hay as they want than your traditional hang on the grid or hang on the side of the cage hay racks. So I really love the Snack Shack. I'll put a link to it in the description, but fill up your pig's hay, replenish their hay with fresh, high quality hay. Number two would be fill their water bottle. Make sure that the water bottle is full you can clean out the water bottle. You'd be surprised with a, a good bottle brush how easy it is to quickly clean the water bottle and make sure that there isn't any funk in there. Sometimes they, they, there's like backwash, there's floating things. You know, some, if, if your water bottle's close to the window, sometimes it can actually foster algae. So you want to just clean all the gunk out of there and give them fresh, clean water. I also really love using the zero water filter because it gets all the weird chemicals, lead and chlorine and bad stuff out of the water and it gives them fresh, clean water. Right, Pippi? Okay, so what's number three? Number three then would be give them fresh pellets. Fill the pellet bowl, give them high quality pellets. So if you go on my website in the diet section, you'll see a number of different types of pellets that I recommend. Right now I'm giving my pigs the uh, small pet select non-GMO pellets and I've got a link for 15% off in the description uh, and on my website but they really seem to like the non-GMO soy free it's a really good high quality pellet and on my website I've got a list of of guinea pig pellets that you could probably find in your local pet store oh my gosh we better hurry you're almost done with this pepper. <laughs> okay, so what's number four? Well, number four would be spot clean. So if you have kiln dried pine shavings, I recommend kiln dried pine or fleece. Aspen is okay. You never want to use cedar bedding because it does create fumes that can cause a respiratory infection. But kiln dried pine is fine and so is fleece. So with, with just a minute, you can either scoop out some of the funky poops from the pine shavings and replace it with fresh bedding underneath the house, or you can peel off uh, the small, I like to put a small fleece pad underneath my guinea pigs' houses so that I don't have to replace the big fleece pad. I'll just peel off the small one, put that in the laundry, and replace it with a, another fresh one. And you can easily do that in a minute. So. Number four is replenishing or spot cleaning uh, the fleece or the pine shavings. It goes a long way to making them a lot more comfortable. And then what is number five? What's the last thing? If you only have five minutes and you're going to spend a minute on each of these, what can you do in a minute that could really benefit your piggies? Well, I'm doing it right now. You pick up your piggies. You maybe give them a little treat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at Pip Squeak. Pippy. Look at your lips. You pick up your piggies, you can give them a treat, and you can look and you can listen and just check and make sure that there's nothing out of the ordinary, like you don't hear any breathing issues, they don't have crusty eyes, you're listening for sneezes, and just overall, you're checking out their well-being and making sure that there's nothing out of the ordinary. And that can go a long way to spotting an illness or something before it gets out of control. Man, just in the nick of time because uh, he's going to move on to my finger next. So that was five easy things that you can do, one minute each, five minutes total, 
That's uh, five minutes to giving your pigs a much better life and improving their care. So if you like this video, if you found it helpful or if it got you thinking, hit the like button. It really helps getting my channel and getting these videos out to a wider audience. I really appreciate that. Okay, you ready to go home? <laughs> okay, all right, Pippi. All right, until next time, thanks for watching.